Thank you very much, and good evening. And thank you to all of you for coming out on a rainy night, as well as our sponsors and the fellow candidates for being here. Since you get to spend the night asking us questions, I thought I'd begin by asking you a question, which is, why do you choose to live in Warrington? Why is this the place that every night you put your kids to bed, you raise your families, you develop lifelong friendships with your neighbors, that you sacrifice your own time to make this community better for everybody? The reason is that Warrington is unique. We have a unique quality of life that provides a secure, safe, and supportive environment, not only for you and for your families, but it's a quality of life that didn't happen by accident, that doesn't happen by accident, and that we cannot take for granted. And Tuesday, you have another choice to make. It's a choice between a record of success and a platform of change and growth. Mr. Norton and I represent a record of success in three key ways that are critical to preserving and enhancing Warrington's quality of life. First, the utmost priority to Mr. Norton and me have been to, at all costs, protect Warrington's small town character and quality of life from the increasing and constant pressures of residential growth. Developers from Gainesville, from Haymarket, from Centerville, national developers who want to grow the town's boundaries, build more subdivisions, build more houses, which would be the worst thing that could happen for the town and its infrastructure and its small town character, while at the same time a record of being responsive and receptive to businesses to try and to grow and expand local business opportunities and making sure we're being accommodating to concerns that we're hearing from the businesses. The second is a record of success in providing the highest quality services to the town's residents and businesses while keeping taxes among the very lowest of any jurisdiction in the state of Virginia. And the third, and one of the most important to me, is a record of putting families first and promoting new opportunities, no better than the wharf, something that didn't even exist eight years ago and today provides huge opportunities for more than 10,000 people a month. I look forward to discussing this record with you tonight, and thank you again for the opportunity to have this discussion with you. Thank you, Mr. Martello. <laughs> Mr. David Norton. Uh, thank you, and I echo uh, Rogers. Uh, thank you for you braving the weather to be here tonight and for our sponsors. It has been a pleasure to have served on the town council for the last 16 years, and much has been accomplished. As a lifelong resident of the town, I want nothing but good things for Warrington and the people who live and work here. When I was first elected in 1998, Warrington was one of the highest tax communities in the Commonwealth of Virginia. As a resident, a property owner, and a business owner, I knew that was unsustainable. Today, we are the lowest tax community in Virginia. We cut real estate, personal property, and all business taxes across the board. And we did this without ever cutting services to our citizens or laying off any employees. In fact, it is our dedicated group of employees that helped us reach this level of efficiency. In 98, 1998, when we came in, we took the money that previous members of town council wanted to waste on a new town hall, and we began a plan to provide recreational, new recreational opportunities for our citizens, which has become known as WARF. This effort took us many years, but it has been great for our community. WARF now serves over 10,000 people a month, not including the athletic fields. This is not only good for our citizens, it's good for our economy. WARF frequently hosts regional swim meets and soccer tournaments that bring thousands of people to our community that spend their money here. We did this without raising anyone's taxes. I am proud of these accomplishments, but there's always more to do. When I started the civic group Friends of Warrington in 1988, one of our top 10 priorities was to build a median down Broadview Avenue. More than two decades later, we finally have a plan that the merchants have bought into and is currently being worked on by VDOT. This will not only help with traffic safety, it will help with pedestrian safety and connectivity. The Trails Coalition has many great plans for pedestrian connectivity throughout the town. We cannot implement them all in one year, but I know all of us on council want to continue the efforts we have made each year to reach their goal. Seeing these projects through are just some of the reasons I seek another term. Thank you. Thank you, David. Ms. Sonny Reynolds. Thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. It's uh, kind of a miserable night. 
but it's good to see you here. And also, I want to thank everyone who, before this meeting, went to the George Mason um, uh, ribbon cutting on Main Street, which was a fabulous event. Um, and was a lot of people were there, and very proud of that. Um, when I first announced uh, my decision to run again for the council position at large, a reporter visited me at my studio. His first question to me was, why would you choose to run for this horrible, nasty, dirty job? I didn't see it that way. The way I look at it and the way I have always viewed it is that this is my responsibility. I have lived here in Warrington for 22 years and I have a sense of obligation to the citizens, the businesses, and the nonprofits of this town. I am not just representing you, I am you. I am a business owner, I am an extension of your needs and your opinions, and that is what is meaningful. I have the ability to not only preserve this town, but to negotiate desired changes. I have served on the town council before, and I help lead good ideas into action. I have initiated projects and have seen them through to completion, and that is what I stand for. New, new ideas should be welcomed and finished. Put 10 people in a room and wonderful and productive things happen. Throughout my campaign, I have visited over 90% of the homes in Warrington, and I know by listening what the citizens and businesses want and deserve. From those mom and dads who spend up to four hours on the road each day to the retired citizens who enjoy weekend shopping in town and enjoying the wharf. I understand economic development. We don't have any. We tonight sit here with at least 52 empty retail spaces in the town. This doesn't even take into consideration empty office space. This has to end. As a board member of the Greater Warrington Chamber of Commerce for four years, I have witnessed firsthand the trauma small companies are going through. The town, the town government must help by hiring a person to work with the county to fill these empty spaces and not by being obstructionist towards business current or new. The current council and administration say we have a tax surplus continually. This is a shallow goal if the monies do not have a real purpose, and this purpose has to be shared with the citizens and our businesses. If elected to the town council, you can expect from me nothing short of accessibility, accountability, and complete transparency in my effort going forth. Thank you, Sonny. Mr. Sean Polster. Good evening. I want to thank the sponsors and thank everybody for coming out. This is what makes the community what it is, is the involvement we have. Whether it's Blue Mount concerts, whether it's the parades, whether it's taking our kids to the wharf, this is what makes our town great. I have spent two decades as a public servant. I was a deputy sheriff here in Fauquier County. I had the privilege of working at Vin Hill prior to Black Crozier's as a firefighter paramedic. And I am currently both a volunteer firefighter paramedic in the county and a career firefighter paramedic. Two years ago, I had the opportunity to take over the Warrington Christmas Parade after the threat of it being canceled. I quickly became the guy that saved Christmas. What a lot of people didn't know, there were a lot of elves behind me, as are in my campaign today. I thank them for their support to get me to this point for the past 58 days and for the next six days to the election. One of the things I learned quickly during the Christmas parade is that nothing would get accomplished without cooperation and collaboration from a lot of different parties. Both public works, businesses, private sector, and public sector had to come together to make this a successful event. Fortunate for us, in 36 days, we pulled off the largest Christmas parade ever in Warrenton with an approximate 2,500 people in attendance that came to Warrenton that night. One of the things I've heard as I've walked through our community is the things that make it great. But one of the things that people want to see is us work together. They see the politics and the big picture downtown, how people don't communicate and people don't work together to make the end goal possible. The one thing I've told everybody that I will do is treat everybody with courtesy and respect. 
and I will listen and I will work hard. My name is Sean Polster. Thank you.